And we're right. super. It is just about that time to begin. So if you're ready to start our practice today, why don't you go ahead and meet me in a supine position laying down on your mat. You can go ahead and just let the legs gently extend out from the hip sockets, let the hands come to rest down by the hips. And we're gonna keep the eyes open as we start off our practice today. For those of us, or for those of you who are just joining us now, we're gonna focus on moving a little bit slower as we have been doing so, focusing a little bit more on the mental aspect of our practice and just using this time to enjoy your practice on your mat. So again, when you're ready, go ahead and make your way into that supine position. Start to find that breath. Deep belly breathing in through the nose and exhale out through the nose. I know usually when we're in the supine position, we like to close down our eyes, but by keeping the eyes open here at the beginning of our practice, it will help you fight that temptation to want to go to sleep at the beginning of your practice. You don't have to focus the eyes on any one thing in particular. Maybe just let them gaze up at the sky. Maybe they'd like to look a little bit more towards the front side of the mat, wherever it, they may fall. It's okay. Just focus on that breathing here. If you can breathe in for a count of one, two, three, and out for three, two, one. Beautiful job. I will join you there on the mat. And with every exhale out, just start to release any and all thoughts from your mind. Let go of that stress, that anxiety, or those worries from your day. tips up by the ears and go ahead and point through the toes taking the full body stretch even though we're reaching the fingertips away from the front of the head I don't want you to think about lifting the shoulders up towards the ears shoulders drawn down the length of the spine breathe in grow another inch taller with the exhale soften out one more inhale full body stretch and then exhale release the hands down by the hips beautiful job we're going to go ahead and start by bending this left knee in towards the heart. Interlace all ten fingers underneath that left kneecap for our first half of the new pose. Make sure the low back is flush along the mat. We can put up the more passive stretch or when you're ready. Start to make this more active by engaging the upper body muscles and keeping the biceps really draw that knee in towards the heart. Keep all ten toes gently flexed. Breathe in and breathe out. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and gently release the left leg down the length of the mat. Inhale, draw right knee in towards the heart. All ten fingers interlace underneath that right knee cap. Again, that low back is laying flush into the mat. This can start off as a passive stretch. And when you're ready, inhale. Make this stretch a little more active by engaging the biceps. Keep 
the all ten toes. Gently curl in towards the shin, the text, the knee joints. Nice deep breath. And when you're ready, exhale, release that right leg down the length of your mat. Both palms of the hands are down by the hips. Go ahead and bend through both knees. Walk the palms of the feet onto the mat. As you inhale, squeeze through the glutes. Gently lift the uh, hips off of the earth. Let your shoulder blades press into the mat. Lift the chin away from the chest for our first bridge pose. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the nose. Feel the course begin to engage by drawing that navel in towards the spinal column. You squeeze through the glutes. And then exhale, set the hips down onto the mat. Beautiful job. Go ahead and lift the left leg, cross the left ankle on top of right thigh. Use your left hand gently press that left inner thigh away for our supine figure four. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the nose, and on that next inhale, lift the right palm of the foot off the mat, bring all ten fingers behind that right thigh, bend the elbows 90 degrees, hug the right knee in towards the body. Use that left elbow to keep the left leg away from the midline. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the nose, one more deep breath in, and then exhale, release that right palm of the foot down towards the mat. Release left palm of the foot down towards the mat and bring right ankle to cross on top of left thigh. Use your right hand to gently guide that right thigh away from the middle of the body. Try not to let the hips lift off the mat. The back stays flush into the mat here. When you're ready, inhale, lift that left palm of the foot off the mat. Bring all ten fingers behind that left thigh. Hug left knee in towards the heart. Use that right elbow to press that right knee away. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then from here, release that left palm of the foot down towards the mat. Uncross that right palm of the foot off of the mat. Whenever you're ready, palms of the hands frame the width of the hips. Inhale, squeeze through the glutes, lift the hips again off of the mat for your bridge pose. From here, we're going to add a little bit of a shoulder body. And I want you to think about walking the shoulder blades together. Make a fist with the palms of the hands and then release that fist directly underneath the glutes. You're going to feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. We're stretching out across the chest. The chin is gently lifted away from the chest. Use your core strength to maintain your balance. Breathe in through the nose and exhale. Release that bottom of the shoulders. Lower the hips down towards the mat. Inhale, bring both knees in towards the heart. And maybe take this time, take some gentle circles to the knees. Let the knees fall over towards the left, away from the body, and then over towards the right. Hug the knees in, fall to the left, to the front, and to the right. And from here, rotate the knees in an opposite direction. Just open up your feet gently. Beautiful job. Finish out that final rotation. And then bring both knees to the chest, really salt to the fingers and make the cap. When you're ready, you take a deep inhale to gently lift the shoulder blades off the mat. From here, we're going to rock and roll a few times, backwards and forwards to come up into a seated position. Whenever you are letting the sit connecting into the mat, bring the palms of the feet together, release the knees down the length of the mat for our first bound angle. Make sure the upper body is upright. Facing the front side of the room, the hands can rest down on the ankles. And the heels can be a little bit further away from the body. If the hip flexors feel a little tight, or you can work to bring the heels closer in to the center of the body. Let the knees release all the way down onto the mat. Good job. Let's start to connect to our pranayama breath practice a little bit more now. We get here at the beginning of our practice. On that next inhale, I want you to sweep the fingertips up towards the sky, keep the palms of the feet down together. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center, and then release the fingertips down towards the earth. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, release out. And inhale, so lift, lift, lift the chin to the match that movement, and exhale, hands to heart center, chin to chest. And just move through this at your own breath pace. Let that breath lead and guide every motion that you take today.
Take two more breath cycles here. Inhale, sweep the fingertips overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last time, inhale, sweep the fingertips all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. And I want you to close down the eyes just for a moment. Focus instead on how the weight of the hands are just pressing firmly but gently together. You take a moment to take note of the sounds around you. The sense in the room. And then when you're ready, begin to gently open up the eyes. Inhale, press the palms of the hands together up overhead. Draw the biceps by the ears. Release the palms of the hands to face the front side of the room. Exhale, hinge through the hips. Slowly release the fingertips down onto the mat. Keep your sit bones pressed into the earth. And then gently tuck the chin in towards the chest. Let the forehead release down towards the earth. You can walk the fingertips a little further away from the body. Even here, think about keeping the shoulders drawn down the length of the spine so that way you have length and space for your neck. Gently activating through the upper body muscles here, especially across the chest while stretching out through the glutes and the inner thighs. When you're ready, you start to walk the fingertips back in towards the center of the body and then inhale, use that core strength to lift the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale your hands to heart center. You can use your hands to gently lift the knees off of the mat, bring the knees to close like the pages of the book. Your palm, the palms of the feet come down onto the mat. And from here, when you're ready, we're gonna bring all 10 fingertips behind the back side of our thighs as you begin to incline the upper body back about 45 degrees. We're gonna work into some boats. As you inhale, slowly lift both shins off the mat, both palms of the feet come off of the mat. You can either keep the toes flexed here, curling the toes gently towards the shin, or you can take a gentle point of the toes. The hands can either stay behind the back side of the thighs, or if you prefer, bring the arms in line with the shoulders. Think about keeping that chin lifted away from the chest. Your eyes are going up to that line where the wall meets the ceiling at the top of the roof. Nice, steady breaths. You got this. When you're ready, exhale, bring both knees in towards the chest. Take a gentle moment to breathe here. You can point and flex to the ankles so they feel a little tight today. Awesome job. Whenever you're ready, gently extend the legs down the length of your mat. Keep all 10 toes flexed. Inhale, sweep fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, maintain that long line down the length of the spine. As you do the hips, release fingertips either towards the toes, the ankles, or the shins. We want to avoid rounding out through the shoulders. We're not creating a C shape on the body. The shoulders away from the ears and breathe into the seated forward fold. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. And stay here for two breaths. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Try to keep a slight bend in the elbow. Then on your next inhale, we'll sweep the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, release the hands down via the hips. Let all ten fingertips point to the front side of the room. Take a moment, rotate the shoulders down the length of the spine. Have a soft bend in your elbows. As you inhale, grip the mat with all ten fingers. Gently hover the hips off of the earth, finding your staff pose. Try to keep the upper body upright. We're not leaning the body back. We're staying nice and neutral. Exhale, release the seat back down into the mat. And from here, inhale, sweep the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Beautiful job. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and sweep the feet behind you as you make your way into a tabletop position. Bring the shoulders, both the wrists, your knees, underneath your hips. And just do some organic movement here once you are in the tabletop position of your mat. If you'd like to, you can again. Rotate the hips, maybe clockwise and counterclockwise. If you prefer, you can shake the tail from side to side. Maybe you'd, you'd like, maybe you'd like to take a few rounds of cows and cats. Whatever feels good for you here. I want you to find that freedom of expression in your practice today. So just take this time to listen to your body. Find what speaks to you. And allow yourself to move to release that tension. 
And then whenever you're ready, we're all going to return back to our neutral spinal position. The eyes are gently gazing down towards the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale that breath away. And then we plant the toes in towards the mat. Inhale, gently lift the hips up towards the sky. Release the heels towards the earth, down dog. We're creating that inverted V-shape with our body. If you'd like to start to pedal out the legs, bending one knee and then the other. Make sure you're gripping the mat with all 10 fingers. That way the weight of the body is not shifted into the wrist. So we want to keep our wrists protected throughout our practice. You can do so by uh, adding a slight bend into the elbows, as well as gripping the mat with all 10 fingers and keeping the weight in the balls of the feet instead. And when you're ready, gently release into your center, down dog. The crown of the head is reaching towards the earth. The eyes are gazing towards the back side of the room. On that next breath in, we'll lift right leg up towards the sky for our first three-legged dog. And that right leg doesn't have to lift very high. The hands are tight. You have to lift that leg up just about a foot or two off the mat. And as you move into the sauna with your breath, with every inhale, you can lift that leg a little higher. The right thigh pointed down towards the mat. All ten toes are flexed. Breathe in through the nose. And then exhale, set that right foot down. Down dog. We're going to take that to the other side now. As you inhale, lift that left leg off the mat. And again, you don't have to lift the leg very high. Give you just a foot or two. Feels good today. And as you keep moving, inhale, lift that left leg a little higher. Exhale, release that breath. Inhale, lift left leg a little higher. Nice job. One more breath cycle here, and then we exhale. Set that left foot down onto the mat. On your next inhale, we're gonna lean from down dog into our first high plank. With this high plank, your neck is in a neutral position with a spinal column. Heels are drawn to the back side of the room, and you're gripping the mat with all 10 fingers. For a little bit more upper body strength challenge, you can add a bend to the elbows to release the stack of the bones. That'll really fire out through the biceps. And triceps or you can keep the arms or the bones neatly stacked. Whenever you're ready, inhale, lean that high plank forward. Exhale, we're going to move into low plank, that chaturanga dandasana. Keep the elbows bent 90 degrees, hover the chest half an inch off the mat, and then slowly release all the way down into the mat. Plant the tops of the feet into the earth. Beautiful job. Let's start to take some heart openers here. I want you to rotate the shoulders down the length of the spine. Please the shoulder blades together. And start to engage through the quads so that way the knees hover off the mat. Bring the chin to the center of your mat. As you inhale, lift just the head and heart off of the earth. There is no weight in the palms and the hands as you take the first big breath. If you prefer, you can start to hover the fingertips half an inch off of the mat. Keep the shoulder blades drawn together so the elbows are gliding along the rib cage. Breathe in through the nose and exhale, release really down to the mat. Let one cheek rest on the mat. Soften and ease that tension out of the body. Good job. I'm gonna move into strong cobra next. So when you're ready, again, rotate the shoulders down the length of the spine. Hug the elbows in towards the ribcage. Start to engage the quads. Keep the tops of the feet rooted into the mat. Bring your chin to the center of the chest. As you breathe in, start to lift the chin up off the mat and the chest until the chest is about parallel to the front side of the room and the elbows are bent 90 degrees. Notice how my elbows are flaring out. I want you to think about hugging the elbows in towards that ribcage. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. The chest or the chin is parallel to the earth. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. One more deep breath in and exhale. Release down to the mat. Opposite cheek to rest on the mat. If you'd like to, you can release the hands down by the hips for a little tension release out of the triceps. When you're ready, we're gonna move into full cobra next. So go ahead, walk the palms of the hands back underneath the shoulder blades, or hug the elbows along the lines of the ribcage, chin comes to the center of the mat, spread all 10 fingertips out nice and wide, squeeze shoulder blades together and engage the quads. As you inhale, lift the head and heart off the mat, all the way until the belly also lifts off the mat, the whole body's parallel to the front of the room. Try not to lock out through that elbow here. Keep a slight bend in the elbows. Feel all of that energy flow out of your heart towards the front side of the room. 
You'd like to turn this into up dog, start to hover the thighs off of the mat. And then we're gonna plant the toes in towards the neck. Inhale, lift the hips up into down dog, release the heels a little closer to the earth. Beautiful work, everyone. Come on, yourself just have this time to find a little more strength and stability in your down dog. The hamstrings are tight, you can always add a bend into the knees, ease some tension out of the hamstrings. What's important is that you keep the hips lifted while the crown of the head gently reaches towards the earth and the heels gently reach towards the earth. There's almost no weight across the shoulders, almost no weight in the wrists. Let yourself breathe. And on that next inhale, we'll walk the feet in towards the hands, taking our first forward fold. With the forward fold, keep a deep bend in the knees so that way the chest can rest onto the thighs. Crown of the head reaches towards the earth, keep the shoulders away from the ears so that way you can maintain a broad chest and open heart. If you would like to, you can reach the hands for opposite elbows. You can allow yourself to sway to the left and sway to the right. When you're ready, you can return to the center of your mat. And inhale, let the palms of the hands come onto the shin to create a halfway lift with the body. The crown of the head reaches to the front side of the room, the hips press towards the backs of the moon. Your upper body is parallel to the earth. Eyes are gazing down towards the mat. Notice how we're not locking out through the knees here. Keep a micro bend in the knees to really protect through the joints. Use your core to maintain your balance. And exhale, release back down into your forward fold. We're going to start to open up with the hamstrings a little bit more here with that pyramid pose. So bring the fingertips to press into the mat. You can lift up a little bit more by letting the fingertips rest here. Keeping your right foot rooted where it's at. Take a deep breath in through the nose to step your left foot two to three feet away from the right. From here, all 10 toes are pointing to the front side of the room. Left thigh is pointing down towards the mat. If you'd like to, you can add a bend into that right knee and some tension out of that right hamstring. As you breathe in, press the right thigh to the back side of the room. Exhale, soften out. Inhale, press the right thigh back. Exhale, soften. Last time, inhale, keep that right thigh pressed to the back side of the room. You're gonna feel a deep hamstring stretch in this front right leg. If you'd like to, you can tuck the chin in towards the chest, draw the forehead a little closer to the knee. Remember, we're holding these asanas, but we're not holding our breath. Breathe in through the nose, and breathe out through the nose. One more breath in, and as you exhale, Bend through that right knee to step left foot up to meet the right. Beautiful job. Inhale, let's take a halfway lift. We'll be here for two breath cycles. Use this as a chance to ease some tension out of the hamstrings. And exhale, release the fingertips in towards the mat. We're gonna take that to the opposite side now. Keep that left foot rooted where it's at as you breathe in. Step right foot two to three feet to the back side of the mat. Your hip, er, legs are in line with the hips. All 10 toes point to the front side of the room. You can start off with a deep bend in the left knee. And as you inhale, draw the left thigh towards the back side of the room. Exhale to soften out. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to soften. Last time. Inhale to lengthen. Can you stay here now? We're not locking out through that knee. There's a micro bend here. Your shoulders are away from the ears. And again, like to tuck the chin in towards the chest. Draw that forehead a little closer to the knee. Beautiful work, guys. Enjoy that tension release out of the left hamstring. When you are ready, as you exhale, bend through left knee, step right foot up to meet the left forward fold. And from here, inhale, we'll reverse swan dive, sweep the fingertips up towards the sky. As you come into extending down the biceps or by the ears, your eyes are to the front side of the room. Take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale, hinge through the hips, bend the knees, keep the upper body bent 45 degrees or incline 45 degrees. Do your best to keep the biceps lifted by the ears, or if you prefer, you can bring the hands to the heart center. Good job. 
Try not to arch too much through that low back. Instead, use your core strength here to keep that navel lifted up towards that spinal column. Your eyes are gently down towards the earth. On that next inhale, we're gonna come back up into extended mountain, coming to stand, lift the fingertips up towards the sky with you. Go ahead and take a steeple grip with the fingers, interlacing the lower three fingers as you take a deep breath in through the nose. We'll exhale, fold over to the right side of the room. Inhale, lift to the center, and exhale, fold over to the opposite side. Inhale, lift to the center, exhale, bring your hands heart center. Let's move through some balance work now. We're going to start off by shifting the weight over to that standing left leg. I'm going to do my best to be here with you guys. As you inhale, let's lift the opposite right leg 90 degrees off of the mat. So here, make sure the hips are in a neutral position. You can do this by bringing the hands onto the hip bones. Make sure the fingertips are pointing towards each other at about the same position. The right toes are curled in towards the shin. The hands are at heart center. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, we're gonna open that right knee over towards the right side of the room. Inhale to close that knee back to the center. Exhale, open through right knee. Inhale to the center. Two more times. Inhale to the center. And on this last one, I want you to keep that right knee over towards the right side of the room. From here, bring the right palm to the foot to rest either on the lower calf of the standing left leg down in a kickstand or all the way up onto the left inner thigh for our tree pose. Beautiful job, guys. The hands can stay at heart center. If you'd like a little bit more challenge. Go ahead and inhale, press the palms of the hands together. Exhale, open up the branches of your tree. You can also take cactus arms by bending the elbows 90 degrees, hugging the shoulder blades together. Just finding whatever feels good for you in your practice today. And from here, for those with cactus arms, it's inhale, stick fingertips back up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center as you release right foot off of left leg. Inhale, hug that left, right knee into the body. Exhale, release the foot down towards the earth. Shake all that tension in that standing left leg. Return back to your Tadasana with feet hips to this support. And then start to shift your weight over to that standing right leg. As you inhale, lift the left leg 90 degrees off the mat. Keep the left toes curled in towards the shin. And again, for that little balance check, you'll bring your hands onto your hips. Make sure the hips are in a neutral position and that this left hip isn't lifted higher than the right. Beautiful job. From here, take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the left knee to the left side of the room. Inhale, bring the knee back to the center. Exhale, to open to the side. Two more times. And on this last one, keep that left knee open towards the left side of the room. Slowly release the left palm of the foot down either onto the lower calf, a kickstand, or up onto the inner thigh of that right leg. I want you to avoid pressing that palm of the foot on that knee joint though. It'll add a lot of pressure to that joint. And see if you can match whatever variation you took on the other side here. Whether you kept the hands at our center, or maybe you opened up the branches of the trees, or you move the arms into cactus arms today. Try to focus your gaze on something still and unmoving. See if you're still breathing for that same steady count. And then from here, for those with cactus arms, inhale, sweep the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center as you release that left palm of foot off of right leg. Inhale, bring the left knee into the center. Exhale. Set the left foot down on towards the mat. You can shake out that tension in that standing opposite leg. Whenever you're ready, let's come back into our Tadasana. Beautiful job. You can go for a little bit more balance work here. Whenever you're ready, let's inhale. Press all 10 fingertips up towards the sky. And from here, I'm gonna pivot towards the front side of the room. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, step your right foot two to three feet towards the front edge of the mat. If you need to scoot back on your mat, that is okay as well. 
just like in pyramid pose. All ten toes are pointed to the front side of the room. Your fingertips can stay lifted up towards the sky, or if you prefer, you can exhale, bring the hands to heart center. From here, slowly pike that back left heel off the mat. The upper body is still upright. Breathe in through the nose, and as you exhale, begin to hinge through the upper body, bringing the upper body parallel to the front or parallel to the earth, just like we do in our halfway lift. Now, if this feels good today, you can stay here. If you'd like a little extra support, you can release the fingertips all the way down towards the mat. As you inhale, lift that back left leg off the mat for a supported warrior three. Or if you'd like to come into that full warrior three, the upper body will stay upright or parallel to the earth as you lift that back left leg off the mat. Try to keep left thigh pointing down towards the earth. Hands are at heart center. Breathe in through the nose. And when you're ready, exhale, release that left foot to the back edge of your mat. Slowly lift the upper body back to parallel. Set that left heel back to the earth. Inhale, step left foot up to meet the right. And let's take that to the other side. Inhale, bring the fingertips up towards the sky. And then from here, step that opposite left leg to the front edge of your mat. And again, if you need to, take a few steps to the back edge of your mat. The fingertips either lifted or at this point, exhale the hands to heart center. Make sure all ten toes are pointed to the front side of the room. Inhale, start to lift that back right heel off the mat. Exhale, hinge through the hips, bringing the upper body parallel to the earth. And try to take whatever variation to on the other side over here as well. Whether you inhale, lifted that right leg directly off the mat, or maybe release the fingertips down towards the mat for a little support. This right hip is going to want to open up towards the sides of the room. It's very important that you keep the toes pointed down towards the earth and that you keep that, that right thigh pointed down towards the mat, maintaining that alignment through the hips. Put your eyes on something still and then moving. And when you're ready, exhale, set that right foot down towards the earth. Inhale, lift up and wide back, seating position, and we'll set her right foot up to meet the left stop. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the nose. On that next inhale, sweep the fingertips up towards the sky, biceps, body, ears. Exhale, hinge through the hips, bending through the knees. The body's going to be kind of 45 degrees in the chair. Awesome job, guys. We're going to keep coming back to that warrior three balance, taking a couple different variations to make our practice today. Breathe in, and on that next exhale, release all the way into your forward fold. Again, the knees can be bent as much as you would like to, or you can keep the hips lifted up towards the sky, tuck the chin towards the chest, and a little deeper into this hamstring release. And when you're ready, plant all ten fingertips in towards the mat. Slowly step the feet away from the hands, high plank. We're going to take a half series here. Inhale, lean that plank forward. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Let's take that two more times. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank all the way down to the mat. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Last one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Let yourself breathe in through the nose. And breathe out through the nose. Three breath cycles. And as you take that final exhale, Start to release the knees down towards the mat. Bring the big toes to touch. Press the hips back towards the heels. Child's pose. Let the forehead rest down onto the mat. Try to keep a soft bend in the elbows so that way the shoulders can see you drop down the length of the spine. Take a few breaths here. Reconnect your attention. Slow the breath back down. Awesome work so far, guys. Whenever you're ready, inhale, lift the hips slowly off of the heels. Coming 
Coming into your tabletop position, shoulders stacked over the wrists, knees underneath the hips. As you inhale, lift through the head and heart, sink through the belly, find your cow. Exhale, round out through the spine, press through the shoulders, chin to chest for cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. One more inhale for cow. One more exhale for cat. Come into your neutral tabletop position as you inhale. Front toes in towards the mat. Inhale, we lift the hips. Exhale, release the heels. On your next inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky for three legged dog. We're just holding our balance here. Make sure the weight is evenly distributed between all 10 fingers and that left ball of the foot. Right toes are curled in towards the shin. Exhale, release right leg down to the mat. Inhale, lift left leg up towards the sky, three legged dog. And again, try not to open up through this left hip. Keep that left hip pointed down towards the earth. If that means you lower the leg just a little bit, that's all good. Focus on your alignment today. Make sure you keep breathing here. You're not holding the breath. Exhale, release, down dog. Inhale, walk, step forward, flip the feet up to meet the hands. Forward fold. Let yourself really release in this forward fold here. You can let the arms rag doll, or you can bring hands to opposite elbows. If you'd like to take a bind, you have a couple of options you can take here. You can either wrap the forearms around the backs of the calves to get a little deeper into the hamstrings, maybe how they have the hips towards the sky. The shoulders feel tight. I want you to keep the crown of the head facing towards the earth. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up towards the small of your back. Make the fist with the hands and then extend that fist up towards the sky. Or if your neck feels tight, you can bring all two fingers to interlace behind the small of your neck and gently draw the head or the crown of the head towards the earth. A couple of different options for you to take. Find this time to let yourself find what feels good in your body today. Remember to keep breathing. Try not to hold your breath in our inversions. Whenever you're ready, exhale, release that bind. Bring all two fingertips to the front side of the toes. Inhale, slowly rise up into a halfway lift. Hands rest on the shins. Upper body to parallel to the earth. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Sweep the fingertips all the way up towards the sky. You can take a steeple grip with the fingers. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale, fold over. To the left side of the ring, keep your shoulders really square to the front. Stretch it out across the right side of the body. Inhale to the center. Exhale. Stretch it out to the opposite side. You're folding over towards the right. Feel that length across the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale. Hands to heart center as you release that steeple grip. Let's move you with some more balance work. Start to shift your weight over again to that standing left leg. Try to keep the eyes lifted to the front side of the room. Inhale, lift opposite right leg, 90 degrees off the mat. Same thing here. Make sure the hips are in a neutral alignment. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale, open that right knee to the right side of the room. And then come into your tree. Another option you can take today is we're going to take a hot tree variation. We're going to keep the toes flexed. Bring that right ankle up into the left hip crease. This palm of the foot is facing or parallel up towards the ceiling. This right knee is drawn down towards the earth. This is a big hip opener here. So if you prefer traditional tree, definitely feel free to take that variation. Hands can stay at heart center or inhale with fingertips up towards the sky. Open up the branches of your tree. Maybe take cactus arms if you prefer. Beautiful job. Maintain that beautiful steady breath. And on your next inhale, lift the fingertips back up overhead. Exhale wherever you're at. Release that right knee back towards the right side of the room. Inhale, bring the knee in towards the center. Exhale, set that foot down on towards the mat. Shake out that tension in that standing balancing leg. When you're ready, bring the hips with this little part and we'll move through that to the other side. Start to shift your weight over to that standing right leg. Inhale, lift left leg 90 degrees off the mat. 
make sure the left hip's kind of in position. This left hip isn't lifted higher than the right. And when you're ready, start to open out that knee over towards the side of the room. Exhale, come into any tree variation, either with the pelvic foot kickstand, lower calf on the inner thigh, or you can cross that left ankle into your right hip crease. Make sure that left knee points down towards the earth. Bring your hands back to heart center. They can stay here. Or you can inhale, reach the fingertips towards the sky. Take whatever variation feels good for you today. Remember to keep breathing. We're not holding our breath. Feel all of that energy with every inhale. Let go of everything else with every exhale. And then we inhale, lift the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, release hands to heart center as you simultaneously release that knee over towards the side of the room. Inhale, draw the knee to the center. Exhale, set the left leg down to the mat. Shake that tension in the leg. And then from here, go ahead and step onto your mat, getting ready for that warrior three sequence again. If you need to, you can go ahead and step to the back edge of your mat, be hips with distance apart. Hands at heart center. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, side out through the mouth. <sighs> really focus on our next sequence here. Whenever you're ready, return that breath back in through the nose and out through the nose. On that next inhale, we'll step right foot two to three feet to the front edge of your mat. All 10 toes point to the front side of the room. Start to pipe the back left heel off of the mat. Hands can stay at heart center. Just begin or prefer you can inhale with the fingertips up towards the sky. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale, hinge through the hips, bring the upper body parallel to the earth. And when you're ready on that next inhale, slowly lift left leg off the mat. Now the hands can be at heart center. It can be your airplane arms. You can release the hands down to the mat or you can take your balancing stick variation with fingertips in line with the ears. What's important is that you keep this left thigh pointed down towards the earth. This left thigh has a tendency to open towards the side of the room. But with warrior three, the hips are centered and square to the earth. Another deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently release left foot to the back edge of your mat. Inhale, bring the upper body back parallel. Exhale, hands to heart center. Step one foot up to meet the right. Beautiful job. We're gonna move through that again on that same leg. So just for a little bit more of a challenge today. Whenever you're ready, adjust yourself on the mat as necessary. From here, we're all going to inhale. Lift the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, step right foot to the front edge of your mat. Inhale, lift the back left heel off the mat. Exhale, hinge the upper body up to the, or parallel to the earth. Do your best to keep the fingertips in line with the ears. Inhale, slowly lift the left leg off the mat. If you prefer, hands can come to heart center at this point or behind you or really kind of challenge your balance today. Whenever you're ready, exhale, slowly set left foot to the back edge of your mat, bring the upper body up right, and then we're gonna step right foot to the back edge of the mat. Hands to heart center. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the nose. Take two cleansing breaths here, breathe in through the nose, and breathe out through the mouth. One more time, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Now we're gonna try that to the opposite side. So again, starting with hands at heart center, take a deep breath in through the nose. Step your left foot two to three feet to the front edge of your mat. Your hips are pointed to the front side of the room. You can stay at heart center as you inhale to pipe that right heel off. If you want to go ahead and try balance and stick, bring the arms up by the ears. Exhale, hinge the upper body parallel to the earth. Inhale, slowly lift that back right leg off the mat. At any point in time, you're welcome to bring the hands to heart center. And airplane arms, fingertips behind you, and fingertips down to the earth. And again, do your best to keep this right thigh pointed down to the earth. We're not opening out through that right leg here. Right toes point down to the mat. Breathe. If you're ready, exhale, step that right foot to the back edge of your mat. Inhale, lift the upper body upright, step left foot back to meet the right. 
I'm just going to demo it from a different perspective. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the nose. And this time we're all going to give balancing stick a try. So inhale, bring all 10 fingertips up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Step the left foot two to three feet away from that right foot. Your hips stay centered to the front side of the room. Slowly exhale, or inhale, pipe that right heel off the mat. Exhale, hinge the upper body parallel to the earth. Fingertips are in line with the ears. Slowly inhale, lift that back right leg off of the mat. And see if you can challenge yourself to stay in balancing stick. It's all good though to release the hands to heart center or into airplane arms behind you. If you come out of that balancing stick, just take your time moving slowly with control and intention to come back into that balance. When you're ready, slowly set the right foot to the back of your mat. Inhale, lift the upper body up right, step right foot up to meet the left. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good job. Take a deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, start to hinge through the hips, bend the knees, upper body inclines 45 degrees to your chair. Try not to let the knees flare out to the sides of the room. Keep the inner thighs drawn gently together. The weight is in the heels, so you should be able to lift all 10 toes as a balance check before exhaling, setting them down on the mat. Now from here, with every inhale, can you find a little bit more length in your spine? Exhale, lower the hips another inch. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, keep lowering the hips down. Another inhale to lengthen. Exhale, take your time. Can you bring the sit bones all the way down to the mat? Slowly lift the palms of the feet off of the earth. Hands can stay at heart center as we turn to that boat pose. Or hands can come to the back side of the thighs. We're out in line with the shin. Beautiful transition. And we're just holding here, keep the chin lifted away from the chest. Feel the strength of your core, strength of your breath. In through the nose and out through the nose. And then when you're ready from here, on that next exhale, gently bring the knees in towards the chest, sit up nice and tall. You can tuck the chin towards the chest for a moment, lift the chin back away, and then we'll point and press to the ankles. Rotate the ankles together, counterclockwise and clockwise. Then from here, go ahead and gently extend the legs down the length of your mat. Bring all 10 toes to flex. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, hinging just through the hips. Maintain that long line down the entire spinal column as you release into your seated forward fold. Whenever you're ready, you can tuck the chin towards the chest to help you get a little deeper into this forward fold. Just try to avoid rounding out through the shoulders though. I want you to think about creating length and space for your neck. So that means it's more comfortable to let the hands rest on the shins or the ankles. I want you to take that variation today. And when you're ready, inhale, lift the fingertips back up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down by the hips, all 10 fingers point to the front side of the room. We're going to take the shoulders to the back edge of your mat, sit up tall, chin parallel to the earth. Parallel to the earth. With all 10 toes flexed on your next inhale, shift the weight into you, the fingertips to hover the hips half an inch off the mat. Try not to lean your body back, but keeping the upper body upper right, creating an L shape of the body here in our staff pose. When you're ready, exhale, set the seat back down into the earth. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, slowly release one vertebra at a time down onto your mat. Take a full body stretch once you make it there. Let your fingertips extend and across the front of the hand, pointing through those toes. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And whenever you're ready, you can let the palms of the hands come down by the hips. Bend through both knees. Make sure you're bringing the lift of the hips with the fingertips. As you inhale, gently lift the hips off of the mat, squeezing your glutes for another bridge pose. Now, if you like that shoulder wide variation you done earlier, you're welcome to find that here again, rotating the shoulder blades underneath each other, putting that piece of palms in the hand. Try not to let the knees flare out. Use your 
more strength to maintain the balance. This is Hana. One more deep breath in, and then release that shoulder wide if you have it. Exhale, we all set our hips down. Onto the mat. From here, inhale. We're going to cross the left ankle again on top of the right thigh. Use that left hand again to press that left knee away. On your next inhale, lift the right arm across the mat. Bring all 10 fingers underneath that right thigh. Hug the right knee in towards the heart. Use the left elbow to keep left knee pressed forward. Inhale, gently extend the left foot up towards the ceiling for one last final hamstring stretch. And then exhale, bend through right knee, set the right foot on the mat, uncross left leg. Inhale, bring the right ankle to press on top of left thigh. You can use that right hand to gently guide that knee away. Inhale, lift the left top foot off the mat, interlace all ten fingers behind left thigh. Then inhale. Lift the left leg up towards the ceiling for a hamstring stretch. And in through the nose. And exhale, bend through left foot, set that leg down onto the mat. Release right leg away from the mat. Whenever you're ready from here, you're welcome to take any final stretches that you would like to take, whatever feels good for you. Maybe that is another bridge variation. Maybe you'd like to take a spinal twist or those uh, half wind relieving poses that we took at the beginning of our practice. But again, I want you to find this time to just find some movement in your body, to find that freedom of expression. Using this time to really connect to whatever it is that feels best for you today, that feels best in your body. These next few moments are for you. Just enjoy yourself to relax and release. Or if you know you're ready, you can come down into a supine position, laying down on the mat, just like the one you took at the beginning of your practice. Just take your time here. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and we're all going to come down into that supine position, laying down on your mat, with the legs gently extend out of the hip sockets, hands come to rest down by the hips. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, sigh that breath away as you start to close down the eyes, shutting down the knee. Now I want you to use this time just to reflect back on the intention you may have set at the beginning of your practice. Were you able to practice a little bit more mindfulness? Were you able to find maybe a little bit more peace in your practice? And then from here, start to release any and all thoughts that you may still have in the mind. Let those thoughts melt out of the center of the forehead. As you return to your own natural pattern of breathing. Try not to focus on any one thing. Just feeling the lift of the chest with every inhale, feeling that slight deflation with every exhale. Start to envision a blank canvas for the mind. As you make your way into that meditative state of Shavasana today, where nothing else exists but you and your breath.
Whenever you're ready, you can begin to wiggle the fingertips. Wiggle the toes, slowly and gently, reconnecting to the senses, waking and reconnecting to the physical being. And taking your time, allow yourself to roll over onto one side of the mat. You take a few breaths there. Before you inhale, coming up into an easy seated position today. Once you have found that easy seated position, we will inhale, sweep the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for sharing in your practice with me this evening. It is truly a blessing to see each and every single one of you on the mat. All that is full of love and light with me, recognize and honor it. All that is full of that love and light within you. Namaste. Thank you guys for a lovely, gentle practice tonight. I had an amazing time, I hope you did too. I can't wait to see you on the map again soon.